everyone, here is another overview video of the new 2017 Briar Warehouse released models. So what this is, is they call them um, warehouse finds, but um, a lot of the time they're very similar to previously released models that are a little bit older, and but they're kind of like an updated release, meaning markings are a little bit crisper the color might be a little bit brighter the pattern might be slightly different so when i saw these guys um they're on molds that i don't typically collect too many of like i think i don't have the justin morgan mold at all so that's my first one i have one on the andalusian mold which is um I think it's Legionario or something, how you say his name. I don't have the quarter horse yearling, the one that's the chestnut in the middle. And then I don't think I have an original finish stock horse mare either. So when I saw these guys, they made me think of like my childhood. So I got really excited and I love like the resist dapple look like on the one on the far left so i'm going to just do a quick overview for all of them um and not make a separate video for them all because um you can see them on the briar horses website um but this is just my overview of them and so you guys can see both sides so i'll start with the um dapple gray um quarter horse mare and this is the stock horse mare mold. And this is an older mold that you don't see too much. And, um, but she's really cute. And she's one that would be really cool in like performance. But I absolutely love the resist dapple technique on these guys. Um, I think it's very cool. And they're not like the fish scaly dapples. They're very different. And every model will vary um, depending on how the dappling technique went. So she's got black eyes. I'll set her down so you guys can see her. But nice shading on these guys. Um, they're in good condition, no like box scratches on them. So that is the uh, stock horse mare in dapple gray. And then we'll move to the they call it the quarter horse yearling. So this one is a flaxen chestnut with a star uh, snip and three socks. One's almost like a stocking. They kind of fade out though. So he's a very vibrant color. And this is an older mold that you don't see very often um, produced. But he's cute too. So this is the first on this mold for me, but he's really nice also. Um, his mane is a little bit not quite lined up with where the edge of the mane and ends and where they did the masking. So that's the only thing that I would mention with him. And then we'll move to the Andalusian. So this guy is pretty cool. I'll zoom in. See all those little flea bites on him? They're really neat. So he's got um, some cool flea bites through his whole body. He's got almost like a gray brownish hoof. And I, he would be considered more like a mulberry gray. Because um, he's got like that brownish tinted mane. Um, so they could have done a little bit better shading on his mane in this forelock and stuff, but he's pretty cute. I'm not a huge fan of this mold, but I really like that he had like flea bites and I thought he was pretty cool. And then I'm really, really happy with the Morgan that they have released because this guy is like a very dark, rich like brown coloring but he's got like red tones to him very crisp face marking he's like really nice too like no scratches no nothing on him and he's really cute he's got his socks that fade up but the markings very crisp on his nose and then this is his off side let's try to get him in the light so you guys can see his coloring
but he's really pretty. So I'm really excited um, to have another Morgan in my collection because I definitely need to get more Morgans. But he's really cool. So I he's probably my favorite out of the group. It would probably go um, the Morgan's my favorite, then the Stock Horse Mare, then the Quarter Horse Yearling, and then the Andalusian. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.